everybody welcome back to rockfish farm so i have a quick little video today i want you to give me your opinion i'm going to kind of show you our barn and ask you what you think we should do because i'm kind of stuck on what we should do as far as either painting or staining the barn and which sections to do uh, so i'll show you and ask you but i would love to see your opinion down below on what we should do so it is super hot today so we're not going to be doing much riding this morning because uh, it's already hot. I think today is the last hot day uh, and then it starts finally cooling off just a little bit. So we're going to give these guys a little bit of a break today and we're going to do some baths later today. Uh, but let's take a look at the barn. Before I show you the barn, this sits down in front of our house and our house is a white farmhouse with a gray metal roof. So I'm kind of wanting, I don't have, I do have a chicken coop up there. You can see right there. Uh, that is also white with a gray metal roof. I've got some gray painted accents in there, which I think I'm getting ready to paint white. Now that's closer to the house, but we do look out uh, at the barn from the house. So you come down the driveway and this is basically what we see from the house. So it's a little bit messy down here. So don't judge me by what it looks like right now. <laughs> I need to do an end of summer barn cleanup. Uh, but so it's open like this and we've got five stalls tack room feed room now you can see the white door here that uh, was from it was originally just the feed room which was the tack room also and then we had two stalls and we didn't have any of this black stuff but we did the white with the kind of darker grayish black it's not really black it's more like a gray accents here that color does actually match our fencing so it's the same color as that. We will have the wooden fencing out front here as well. So that will be that gray color too. I was a little unsure if I should do any accents like that. We are going to pull off the X's off this door and it'll match the store here. So there is an option to do like some of the gray uh, accents to kind of match our fencing. Um, okay. And then of course all of the stall fronts are actual black so uh, need to kind of get these colors in order here so we've got five stalls here and then of course we've got the posts so we could do something different with the posts we could do them white now we've got it's like a shed row style barn with an awning and so we've done board and batten on the outside here on the back side we will have dutch doors we've already built the one uh, so we did not do the X in there. And so each of the stall doors will be Dutch doors. And then back here will be a paddock that they can come out to, maybe like a dry lot type thing. Uh, so that fencing will also be stained the gray. I'm telling you that because it's all like right here at the barn area. You can see on the original section, we did do the trim under the gray in that. So don't know if I can get high enough, but we do have a dark gray metal roof up there. So, but it's not quite as dark. It's kind of like a slate gray. So it's not as dark as the stain color, the fencing color. So my question is, what do I do? Should I stain it? Should I do it in the dark color of, it is a stain. Uh, but it looks kind of like a paint. Obviously, it's a thicker stain. I could do the whole barn in that color. I could do the whole barn all white. I could do white with the gray kind of roof line, uh, little accents maybe. And then if I do that, you know, you got to think about either white under here or I could do the dark gray, which honestly may look okay. Um, or I was thinking white, doing everything in white, including the poles. It's going to get kind of dirty. We do have a lot of orange mud that still splashes up. I can show you the other side too, because that's just up against and grass right now. Uh, but I could do where I paint the barn white and then almost do like a natural stain. Of course, I'd have to come in here and do some pressure washing. It's almost like this orange mud just like comes up here and stains it. This is from where we leave the doors open. And it's like it blows and it just stains absolutely everything. 
So I could do, this is what it originally looks like. We just did this section recently, so it hasn't discolored yet. Uh, but we could stain all of this like in a neutral color or like an actual, you know, light brown stain color and do the outside white since you can see this. Uh, so let me show you down here. So right now this butts up against grass and there's still a ton of orange mud here. We've been laying our horse manure and it actually sends up grass. We have grass seeded this and nothing came up. And so we just started dumping our manure here. I know it's by the barn, but it actually works really, really well. Uh, so this potentially, at least until we get some grass seed, will stain orange. The other thing I could do is do like a little uh, like mulch bed right here when we get the fencing up because I'm not sure I think it's gonna end up coming up this way and going up towards the driveway we're gonna have all of this back here cleared out and we're gonna do another pasture so I think it's gonna be a pasture and then a dry lot right up against the barn and then so I could kind of do like a mulch bed right here which I think would be really really pretty and uh, do like some arborvitae trees or something or some bushes to wear you know, nothing really splashes up against the barn. And then I could even, like if I needed to get back over here, if we were gonna put a gate here or something, if I needed to get back on this end to the horses, I could do like a small gate here and like some stepping stones over to it. Obviously the horses wouldn't come out there. It would just be like a person gate, you know? I see you. I see you poking your head out. It's nice and shady back here, isn't it? Oh buddy. Yeah, buddy. You being nosy? You wondering what I'm doing? Yeah? <laughs> so that's it. I just need your opinion today because my brain is like fried on all of this and I don't know what to do. So white, gray, white with stain underneath. You know, what would you do if this was your barn? Now, don't forget the white. Oh, hello. You being nosy too? Yeah. You being nosy too? Sweet girl. That cobwebs and dust all over you. All right, so anyways, leave your comment below. What do you think we should do? Because I need to get this done in September. I'm ready to knock it off my list. Thanks for watching and thanks for sharing your opinion with me. Uh, hope you enjoyed kind of this mini tour of our barn and uh, we'll see you next time. I'm looking forward to reading your comments.